we continue today in our journey through Shemona Esrei, and we find ourselves in the bracha of Hashivinu Avinu Lusara Secha. These are the these are the beginning of the section. We're going to see these two brachos of Hashivinu and Slachlanu that speak about forgiveness. But the bracha over here, the formulation is very interesting. Hashivinu Avinu Lusara Secha. Hashem, return us back to your Torah. Bring us close to your service. Bring us close to you or return us in a state of complete tshuva, complete repentance. And I want to focus on each of these statements independently, but for today we'll focus on the opening phrase. Return us to your Torah. What does that mean? What is it exactly that we're asking from HaKadosh Baruch Hu? What's, what's, what's the request? What's the ask? To return us to Torah? What does it mean to return us to Torah? Have I left Torah? Have I forsaken Torah? While it is true that I make mistakes, and while it is true that I make bad decisions, I think for many of us, it's never that we leave Torah. It's never that we leave HaKadosh Baruch Hu. We just have momentary lapses of awareness, or momentary lapses of the correct moral compass. But at the end of the day, we never leave. But perhaps what the bracha is trying to convey to us is a profound idea. See, a lot of times in life, we think that holiness, spirituality, is something that we have to find and cultivate. We assume that we start from ground zero. I'm, I'm nothing, I'm zero. And then my goal in life is to build myself up. But in fact, the bracha is teaching us something dramatically different. We start at Har Sinai. All of us, each of our neshamas, each of our souls, we're at Mount Sinai. We're there for Kabbalah Satora, and as we saw in Dafyomi today so beautifully, when Klal Yisrael, when the souls of the Jewish people, which were the people who were alive, and the future souls as well, all stood by Har Sinai, we all said Na'a Seven Ishma together. And in that moment when we said Na'a Seven Ishma, we will do and we will listen, complete acceptance of HaKadosh Baruch Hu, commitment to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. The Gemara says that the Malachim, the angels came down, and they tie two crowns upon each and every Jew, each and every soul. One spiritual crown corresponding to Nasa, a second spiritual crown corresponding to Nishma. And so perhaps what the bracha means is, Hashivenu avinu l'tzorzech Hashem, take us back. Take us back to Sinai. You see, I don't start from ground zero. I don't start from nothing. I start from Sinai. I start from Nasa v'nishma. You see, life is not about finding spirituality. Life is not about a See, sometimes we think that I have to acquire something outside of me in order to be holy. It's not true. All the holiness you need in life is already inside of you. It's already there. I just have to find a way to access it. The challenge is that sometimes there are so many levels of impurity, so many levels of mistakes, so many levels of bad decisions that build up over these like spiritual plaque that builds up that I can't even see the holiness that is inside there. But it's there. Each and every one of us has all of the kedusha, all of the holiness we need in order to be successful in this world. So I don't ask God to give me Torah. I don't ask God to give me spirituality. What do I say? Bring me back. Bring me back. Bring me back to when I was standing by Mount Sinai, because each of us did that. Bring me back to the day that I came into this world. Bring me back to the time before I made all of my bad decisions, wrong turns in life. Before I piled up the levels of impurity to the point that they obscure my inner holiness. Hashivenu, bring me back to that time of Kaddish Baruch Hu. When I recognize that all I have all the potential I need in order to succeed in life, bring me back to the time where I'm able to see that all of the holiness that I require in order to be successful, I already possess within. Wishing everyone a wonderful day.